In this video I'm going to look at permanent dipole, permanent dipole into molecular forces. So I've drawn up on the board there four hydrogen molecules. Just to refresh our memories of the intermolecular forces that would exist between these. So hydrogen is a non-polar molecule and so it doesn't have what we call permanent dipoles on it. It has these instantaneous dipoles or fluctuating dipoles due to the electron density constantly on the move and so if we instantly froze time we'd have a slightly negative end and a slightly positive end the electron density may be slightly on the right hand side that's what we call the instantaneous dipole and what that would do is it would it would induce a dipole on a neighboring molecule and so this delta minus a would repel the electron density delta minus, delta plus, and so you get this very, very weak intermolecular force between these molecules, and that's the van der Waals force, remember. Very, very weak intermolecular force, very, very easy to break this force of attraction between the molecules, not the bonds, the intermolecular forces, and so hydrogen has a very, very low um, boiling point so if we change the hydrogen, one of the hydrogens in H2 for a chlorine, so we turn it into hydrogen chloride, so I've drawn two of those up on the board there, we'll know from our electronegativity knowledge that chlorine is more electronegative than hydrogen, and so it has a greater share of the electron pair in that bond. So I've drawn that red arrow pointing towards the chlorine. So it's a bit like a tug of war for the electron pair in the bond. If it totally won the tug of war, it would become a negatively charged ion because it would gain hydrogen's electron. And obviously hydrogen would become a positively charged ion and become the H plus ion. So in this tug of war analogy, if we just think chlorine's winning but doesn't totally win. And what that does is it puts a permanent dipole on the HCl molecule. So the electron density is sort of, if you think about, we'll draw like a oval like that. There's more electron density on the chlorine side than the hydrogen. It puts this permanent dipole in the molecule. The same is going to be true for that one. So this has a permanent dipole on it anyway. We don't need the induced dipole now because that's going to be there to start with because of electronegativity difference. And so we get a, a different type of intermolecular force called the permanent dipole to permanent dipole intermolecular force. So van der Waals forces is an intermolecular force between non-polar molecules and it's between those temporary, instantaneous and the induced dipoles. Whereas permanent dipole, permanent dipole is exactly what it says in the title there. It's the intermolecular force between permanent dipoles. So if we just finish by looking at a comparison between two similar molecules. So I'll start with this pair here. CF4, carbon tetrafluoride. We've got fluorine in there, most electronegative element. But because this molecule is totally symmetrical, all these dipoles, I just put D minus, delta minus, delta minus, delta minus, delta plus in the middle. All of those identical dipoles will just cancel each other out. And so CF4 molecules are non-polar. So because these are non-polar molecules, there's no permanent dipole in this molecule. And so we would have van der Waals forces between these molecules. So this would have a low boiling point as a result of that because van der Waals forces are the weakest intermolecular force. Not very much energy needed to separate the molecules. You can see I've swapped one of the F's for Cl now in each molecule and I've turned it into a non-symmetrical molecule now so the dipoles can't cancel anymore. So this is actually, these are polar molecules now they have a permanent dipole in them. Remember before when it was CF4, the, those dipoles could cancel out. 
can't do that now so this, these are polar molecules with permanent dipoles in them so therefore the intermolecular force now must be called a permanent dipole permanent dipole intermolecular force and we'll just finish with the statement permanent dipole permanent dipole intermolecular forces are stronger than van der Waals forces